My name is Amanda Evans. I'm originally from Grass Valley, California, but now I live in Manhattan Beach, California. Right now, I'm actually teaching ceramics at Biola, and then I also work for an artist named Ingrid Klomp. I get to work on artwork all day. I couldn't ask for a better job because I'm doing something that I love, and I'm getting paid to apprentice under a really well-known artist. My name is AJ Ranson. I'm a studio arts major. Through my Biola connections and through the uh, internship connections that I've, I've had, I've started to do a lot of freelance graphic design and illustration. I've done some artwork for uh, like iPhone, um, iOS apps, advertising agencies. Um, I've worked for uh, clothing companies. I see that there's a lot of uh, room for redemption in, uh, in the advertising industry. I am Maggie Hazen, and I grew up in Orange County, and now I'm living in Pasadena. I'm currently working on a project for the Museum of Tolerance right now. I kind of got asked by an organization in LA to do a memorial piece on the 20th anniversary of the LA riots. I'm doing this project because I wanted to investigate what the riots were about and how kind of the environment that people were living in at the time and still are living in and how that affects our view on our city, on ourselves, on our community. Drawing and painting for me has been a lot about um, slowing down and seeing the world, uh, about being able to take the time to meditate on something and to, to try and see something really, really well. I also, with this project, wanted to create an atmosphere or an environment for solace and contemplation rather than some another art piece that is really loud or full of aggression. Because everything about the riots was extremely loud. I, I want to create like moments in which people stop and then they come in and see and experience something different, something um, perhaps transcendent. It's important to see something beautiful, even amidst subjects that are painful or hard or maybe even ugly, to, to see something beautiful. I think that art has the power to transform communities. It opens our minds to think creatively, to think a new way than we were raised to think. It causes us to see beauty in the world and to see a different way of living than we might have seen before. We reinvent. Um, we take the created world and recreate it and export it back into our communities or the gallery or the internet. A lot of art making and being an artist is connecting with your community and engaging uh, deeply in that community. I'm really interested in partnering with low-income communities to do sort of hybrid projects between community development and visual art. I really want to do large public works, large public sculptures. I want to be showing in galleries. When I graduate, uh, my plans are to start straight away um, into that process of changing culture and being a culture maker. Because we are connected to the source of life, because we have access to kind of the real truth, then we should be the ones who are trying to shape and form culture. And I think that through that is um, how we see the kingdom brought here.